everyone, my name is Lauren and I make videos on what it's like living with schizophrenia. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about what it's like to be taking antipsychotics and what it feels like and what it involves because I think there are a lot of people seeking out information who may be thinking about trying an antipsychotic and wanna know more about what it's actually like. And I'm sure there are also people out there who are just curious about what it's like to be on an antipsychotic medication. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Now, I'm not gonna mention any specific medications in this video because I don't think that it's really helpful at all to be talking about specific medications because they work so differently from person to person. And so I don't think that um, what works for me will necessarily work for someone else or something that maybe didn't work as well for me might work really, really well for someone else. So that's why I'm not mentioning any of the medications by name. I'm just kind of giving a general overview about what it's been like to be on a really, really wide different range of, of antipsychotic medication. I think something really important to mention as well is that being or finding the right antipsychotic medication is really about finding the right balance between um, reduction of symptoms and management of symptoms with um, negative side effects. So you're really kind of trying to find a place where these are kind of balanced out or preferably where this is lower and this is higher, meaning the management of symptoms and side effects. But you're kind of trying to find out what you're able to live with in terms of benefits of this and drawbacks of this. So probably an important thing to mention is that it's not really, antipsychotics are not really like a mind altering substance. So if you take it recreationally, you're just gonna get the bad side effects. You're not gonna get any kind of like um, elevated state of mind or anything like that. It really just helps to manage symptoms and give you some side effects. And that's really all the antipsychotics do. Um, some antipsychotics help you to think a bit clearer if you're dealing with symptoms, but some some antipsychotics make you think a lot more fuzzily. And it's it's just kind of, it's harder to focus on some of them. So yeah. Don't take it recreationally. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, antipsychotic medication is, is used to reduce symptoms of psychosis or a bipolar disorder or what have you, whatever your psychiatrist is treating you with antipsychotics for. Um, so for the most part, the mo most of the antipsychotics that I've been on have done a good job of um, lessening my symptoms to varying degrees, but overall they they typically lessen the positive symptoms anyway. So that's like hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, um, some of the disorganized thinking, and those symptoms they kind of address a lot better than say the negative symptoms, which are look more like depression and are um, things like lack of motivation, lack of um, pleasure in things, lack of focus, those kinds of things, those symptoms, they don't do such a great job of addressing. Um, but generally speaking, the positive symptoms, they do a good job of. Now that said, I have tried some newer antipsychotics, which are like a combination of mood stabilizers or other medications like that, which have done a better job of addressing the negative symptoms because of that mood stabilization component to them. So talk with your doctor to figure out what will be the most helpful in terms of addressing the symptoms that you experience most severely. Okay, side effects. So this is a, something that a lot of people really want to know about because that's a major reason why a lot of people are really adverse to taking their medication, why they don't really want to take medication because the side effects can be really, really awful to deal with. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the side effects that I've experienced while being on antipsychotic medication. Now, the side effects that I'm going to mention are by no means an exhaustive list of antipsychotic side effects, but they're kind of the ones that I've experienced most frequently and most severely. Um, but again, people experience different kinds of side effects with different kinds of medication, and so this is not exhaustive, but this is just what I've experienced on antipsychotics. So I think probably the biggest side effect that I would um, want to talk about is just the it's kind of like a numbing that you experience with the antipsychotic medication where you feel like there's kind of like a barrier between what you know you're capable of feeling and experiencing of the world and what you do on the medication. Now, this is not the case with all medications and it's obviously to varying degrees and I've had it to varying degrees with different medications, but it's kind of a common thing that to some extent you're going to feel some degree of numbing or of kind of like this wall that's being put up between you and the world that you're trying to experience. And so that can be really, really frustrating and really hard to deal with and figure out how to manage, but I think it's important to just 
try to remember how you connect with the world and to really seek that out as much as possible and to seek out rich experiences that you can feel something with because the numbness can really get to you. And so that is definitely a side effect that um, I think a lot of people really struggle with. Another big one for me that I experience on the current antipsychotic that I'm on and also on different ones that I've tried is the sense of restlessness or agitation. And so this can be really problematic because it kind of makes you feel really anxious and really just like you're just revving on this like frequency that you can't really manage. And it's just this this inner feeling of restlessness and agitation that's really kind of hard to deal with. I'm not really sure if there is an adequate um, comparison, but it's kind of like when you've had one too many cups of coffee and you're just feeling really restless and agitated and just kind of on edge, um, a friend calls it uh, doom, which is kind of a good a good explanation or a good adjective for how it feels. It just kind of feels like this inner sense of doom and it's it's hard to manage. And so I'm actually on a medication to counteract this side effect and to kind of lessen the sense of restlessness and agitation, but I still do feel it. And it is something that you need to be aware of when you're taking antipsychotic medication. Dry mouth is one that they don't really tell you about too often. And it's one that I really struggle with. I've had to take several sips of water during this, during this filming of this video because my mouth is always dry. And so it makes it kind of hard to um, talk for prolonged periods of time and sometimes gives me bad breath because dry mouth does that. And so uh, dry mouth is one that um, a lot of, a lot of uh, psychiatric medication in general, not just antipsychotics, give you. Another really big symptom or problematic side effect of antipsychotic medication is weight gain. Um, so this is one that a lot of people ask me about. They ask me how I maintain a healthy weight while being on antipsychotics. And it's something that I've really had to work toward and kind of figure out a strategy for. And this is actually something that we're planning to make a separate video on about strategies for maintaining a healthy weight while on antipsychotics. But um, I have experienced huge amounts of weight gain on antipsychotic medication. Um, one of the ones that I was on, I gained like 50 pounds in like less than half a year. And it was really, really problematic to my health and to my mental health and to my my self-esteem. And it was just, it wasn't good. And so I really understand that a lot of people really struggle with this as a really nasty side effect. And it's like a huge reason why people maybe don't want to take their medications that they're prescribed for their psychosis. And I get that. Another common side effect that's not really talked about very much is a decreased libido. So I have had problems with this in terms of having um, decreased desire for intimacy with my partner on different medications. And it's it creates a problem in your, in your relationship and in your sense of um, self-esteem and in your confidence and all of that. And so that is another potential side effect that you need to be aware of. And another one that I want to mention, although I haven't actually experienced yet is tardive dyskinesia because I do worry sometimes that I'm getting it when I'm looking at videos I see like a sagging in part of my face or like um my mouth not moving symmetrically and I get really worried that I'm going to have tardive dyskinesia because of taking my antipsychotic medication so tardive dyskinesia is basically involuntary movements of the tongue lips face um, that kind of region uh, caused by prolonged use of antipsychotic medication. So that is something that I, I do worry about and it is a potential side effect of taking antipsychotic medication. So these are just some of the major side effects that I've experienced while taking antipsychotic medications, but in the future, we'd really love to talk more to other people and to psychiatrists, pharmacologists, pharmacists about different side effects that other people experience while on medications or antipsychotic medications and what the experience is like for other people. I think it's really important to kind of address the fact that if you are experiencing a lot of these side effects, it's really important to work with your doctor about addressing them. If you just stop taking your medication cold turkey because you don't like some of the side effects that you're experiencing, you're gonna have a really bad time because probably those side effects are going to get much worse if you just quit cold turkey and you're going to have symptoms come up again and it's just going to be a really bad recipe for disaster. So please, I really urge you to work with your psychiatrist to kind of find that balance between managing your symptoms and side effects that you don't really want to be experiencing. I also talked about what it's like physiologically to be on antipsychotic medication, but there's also the psychological component about what it's like being on medication. So I think that a lot of people really struggle with 
what it means to be on antipsychotic medication, myself included. I sometimes tell myself that I'm lesser of a person or something along those lines because I have to take antipsychotic medication. So I think it's really important to just continually remind yourself that you're taking this medication, this like healthcare medication for a health symptom, for a health disorder or health problem that you need to address with medication. And that's okay. You are just treating an illness that you have. And if it helps you to live more fully and a better life, then why not take it? This is kind of an interesting dilemma too, though, where people are feeling really great on their antipsychotic medication and they're not having very many side effects and they're not having any symptoms because their medication is working really well. And so it's kind of ironic that when when the medication is working, people don't really want to take it because they think they don't really need it or anything. So when the medication is working, a lot of people, myself included, think that they don't want to take the medication anymore. And also when the medication is not working because you're having a lot of side effects or a lot of symptoms, you don't want to take the medication then too. So it's kind of like this no-win situation sometimes where um, if the medication is working, you don't want to take you don't want to take it. And if the medication isn't working, you still don't want to take it. So it's kind of a psychological roller coaster in terms of understanding that you need to take it regardless. And you need to find that proper balance with your psychiatrist about what what you're willing to put up with in terms of managing your symptoms. So I've talked a bit about my experience with taking antipsychotic medications, but again, I just want to reiterate that it is different for every everybody and different people react differently to different medications. And so it's really important to find the one that fits you the best with your psychiatrist and to work together to find the one that fits you best. So I hope you found this video helpful or informative in some way. Um, If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any other experiences to share about what antipsychotic medication has been like for you, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And if you would like to help support the creation of future videos, please check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching and as always, wishing you and your loved ones good health. Bye.